<clears throat> All right. Nope. <clears throat> All right. What's up, everybody? Grim Green back here today. Thank you so much for joining me again. I just want to say real quickly, next week, everything should be getting back on track. We're going to have a Tuesday Bro Tuesday on Tuesday at 2 p.m. We're also going to have the vlog on Thursday at 4 4 p.m. I'm excited to get back to streaming and I should be out of YouTube jail by then. But really what I wanted to do today, I just wanted to get caught up on some mail. The crown pod from UL. Ooh. It says red on the package, but that very much looks like pink to me. Very, very, very Nordy. Yeah, wow, you got a big pod right there. Snaps in very much like the Nord. Well, we'll see because I'm always looking for something to set up during vape mail. Oh, so it's like the Cali Burn. They did it like the Cali Burn. You press the button or you can activate it with your lungs. You can draw activate it. Activate it with your lungs? Yeah, draw activate it. Activate it with your lungs. <laughs> Inakin's Chroma R Slide. Oh, and a Christmas card from Inakin. We wish you a Merry Christmas. May the beauty and joy of Christmas remain with you throughout the new year. Oh, that's very nice. With your efforts and support together, we are thankful and proud of all the people who have quit smoking in the last year. Together, we will make a difference. Oh, that's very cool. Wow, that whole letter looks handwritten. Way to go, Inakin. Chroma R Slide. That screen, I think, actually looks pretty super cool on there. Hang on, let me un screw this so I can show you the screen again because I don't want to burn my coil. Yeah, I know. Look at that screen. I think that's very slick. That slide tank honestly looks pretty good on there. It's got this rubberized sort of grippiness in the back. Adjustment buttons right there. It's a single 18650. It's just designed to be one of these guys, one of these mouth to lung kind of guys. Well, Inokin, I think that looks very cool. Something else from UWell, which I'm hoping is that Coco. They released the Coco for the Cali Burn and don't have one. Haven't got to try it yet. Come on, Coco. Coco! Ha oh, ha. Yeah, Cali Burn Coco. I opened up the red, but there was a blue and a gray and a black in there as well. But those aren't for me. Those are those are for the cool kids club. So if you don't know, the Coco is really just a new battery basically for the Cali Burn. The Cali Burn pods are some of, if not the best pods. I think on the market that you can refill. Although their own you well yearn refillable pods, I feel are kind of just incredible. And I'm really looking forward to using this little like, uh, you know, square guy. I like this, you know, it reminds me of, remember Vape Forward? Vape Forward did that pod. Oh my God, why can't I remember the name of this pod? What the hell was it? Vape Forward uh, did the, uh... oh, come on, the sink. The sink pod. Oh, after all of that, it was just to say that, yeah, someone else did a battery called the sink that was very similar to this and I really liked it. So I'm glad that you well did this little square cocoa battery. I'm also just gonna fill up this pod cause I know I'm gonna use this cocoa very, very soon, if not right now. But wait, there's more. Rewape. What? Revape? What? I can't get, what is this? What is this? Rewape? 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 What? Uh, it appears to be a mech mod. The Ghost 21700 Mechanical Mod. Ghost 21700 Mechanical Mod. R U O K. Are you? Oh, dang. That is, uh, that is, that's real nice. Tried to hold this up here before it becomes a fingerprint magnet, but dang, that is, that is kind of crazy. There's a, uh, sort of a ghost. I don't know, Ram Skull on there. It's got kind of their logo engraved across the bottom there. And if you keep turning it, it says Grim Green right there. It's real difficult to see, but it's there. And I think that's very cool. It's just so shiny. I don't want to touch it. Oh God, just get fingerprints all over it. Yeah, fingerprints all over it. Real nice threads, tube on the inside for an 18650. See that button right there on the bottom? That's kind of a cool like pearly sort of, I don't know, marbly looking button. Button is very firm. That is a real firm press. I don't even have anything I can put on here right now. Well, that kind of bums me out. I wish I could put something on here right now. And it comes with the Ruach RBA. This looks like an RBA base to a tank or something that I don't necessarily have. Not 100% sure. Not 100% sure what this is for. 21700 hybrid. The only thing I'm not loving is that button. Not exactly matchy, but I throw a dead goat on there. 
I dislike this button. I very much dislike this button. Bad. Bad button. I don't like it. Obviously, I'm going to spend a little bit more time with this mech mod before I give it, like, you know, a full once-over kind of uh, review. I'm loving the way it looks. I love the way it feels. It's 21700, but this button kind of sucks. It's real smushy, and it feels a little bit crunchy, and it honestly feels like when I press it, it's not coming back out all the way. It feels like it's getting a little bit sticky, which I don't like that feeling. I do not enjoy sticky feeling. Real competition mod for cloud chasing. That would have been great if this was released in 2015. But, uh, it's still kind of cool. Damn it, it's still kind of cool. Got some Falcon 2s. Hey, pretty cool. They really went for that sort of, uh, you know, rose gold sort of uh, white girl aesthetic. But there's some more regular, you know, uh, black stainless rainbow, you know, more what we're used to, I guess. At least there isn't that sort of like uh, baby barf color. And lastly, I got something from Reload Vapor. <laughs> Oh, Merry Christmas from Reload Vapor. A Starbucks gift card? Well, dang, thank you, Team Reload Vapor. Dear Nick, wishing you and your family love, peace, and joy during this season. Have a wonderful holiday and a great new year. Steve, Team Reload Vapor. Awesome, thank you. H how'd you know I like Starbucks? What is this? What are you? Oh, you're the little Reload Vapor pod guy, the little AIO. These are pretty slick. They feel very nice. I really like that texture, but I don't know if I want to set up the blue one. Let's see, there's a blue and a black and a silver and a red. I might steal the red one, you guys. I might steal the red one. The others will definitely get given away, but I might I might steal the red one. Wow, this has a really great weight to it. Okay, I decided I'm stealing the red one. I'm stealing the red one and I wanna use it like right away. Prime coil for five minutes before use on the pod there. Helpful, thank you Reload Vapor. There's just sort of a big silicone triangle that you kinda pull up big juice fill port. Oh, and it just magnetic-y kind of snaps in there. Pretty secure. I mean, it almost feels like it could slip out a little bit. There's no adjustments or anything. All right, let's fill it up. I guess I'm gonna have to watch some reviews for this because there's this sort of like, I guess this is the airflow control. This little dial kind of spins on here and there's numbers marked on it. I can't tell a lot of difference in the airflow, so I'm just gonna leave it where it is. But I think that has something to do with the airflow. Right now it's set on the 1.0 setting. Dang, feels rad, feels nice in the hand. Unpaid video, by the way, zero of this is sponsored. Yeah, I should have let it sit much longer than that. Interesting. Well, obviously I'm gonna have to spend some more time with this here pod. It looks like there's a, an area of the tank in there that is just staying bone dry and I can't get liquid in there. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of a bummer. Huh. Well, it's dry. There's one, like I said, one entire side of this coil head that I cannot get to come in contact with liquid. Oh! I'm really gonna have to let this wait the five minutes. Okay, fine. You win, pod. I tried every trick in the book and the bottom of the pod said, let this sit for five minutes with juice before you vape it to prime the coil. I literally went out in the living room and watched about 20 minutes of a Kevin Hart documentary with my wife while this just sat and it still isn't wicking liquid. It's kind of making me insane. And like I said, there's just this little area over here where it looks like liquid just ain't getting. All right, new liquid, DIY 50-50 PGVG. 12 milligram banana menthol. This has been sitting. I've done the like cover up the airflow thing that didn't work on the first pod. So I'm just, here's to hoping that this pod works. Mmm. Wow. Works works well. Dang, I don't, look, I don't know if that first pod was just a bucket pod, just sucked, just dead on arrival. This pod seems to be working just spiffy and the airflow is real nice. Very, uh, very mouth to lung, kind of like a spongy, I'm gonna say it, spongy mouth to lung. Dang. Pretty nice. All right, well, I guess that wraps this whole little adventure up. I got some new stuff to fiddle around with. And like I said, next week, everything should be back on schedule as far as streaming goes. So I'm gonna spend the afternoon with my wife and my new uh, Reload Pod. Pod that doesn't have a name. It's just called the Reload Vapor P 
pod, I guess. Literally just called the Reload Vapor Pod. Hey, that's cool. Who needs creative names? That's what I got for today, everybody. Thank you seriously so much for watching. And no matter what anybody tells you, yeah, let's keep on vaping.